Hey kids, in our previous lecture, we discussed two important terms, which was two dimensional figures and three dimensional figures related to solid shapes. Now, in this particular lecture, we are going to move ahead and this time we are going to see nets for building 3D shapes. Now, to understand this nets for building 3D shapes, we'll have to take a three dimensional shape in consideration. And for this nets, the perfect 3D shape is a cube. The reason is a cube is having all faces as congruent squares and because of that the nets can be quite different and at the same time well we can obtain n number of nets and using them we can form our cube. Now an important thing here is that to understand what this net word means. So if I take a cube and deconstruct it, when I say deconstruct I will say that this particular square it's basically a plane and I will just open it. So that way I can say this will be flipped along this side and now it will look somewhere like this. Then again in a similar manner if we open it completely and uh, place it over a plane then that particular structure which will be formed on that plane that will be called the net diagram of this cube. So let us now see a net diagram and see whether that particular net diagram is a net diagram of a cube or not. So here you can see that I have a net diagram and now using this net diagram, I'll try to form a cube. If we are able to form a cube completely, then I will say that this net diagram is a net diagram of cube, otherwise it is not. So for this, consider that this is my base. So let's say this is my face one. So this means that this particular will be flapped on this side, so it will be face two. This one will be flapped on this side, so face face three. This one will be flapped on this side, so face four. And now, once it will be like this, you will have a figure which will be like this or which will look somewhat like this. You will have a base. On that base, you will see that on three sides, you have squares which have taken place or which have taken the position of this net and, are, and have partially formed a cube. Now, this one, if I consider this as one, this as two, then again this has 3 and this one has 4 then to this 4 you can see that there are two more squares attached which are somewhat like this. So you will see that this one is like this and then again if you will see that once it is folded then both the things come over the top. Now if you will just close this particular one with this face then you will see that the opening has been closed and this one right here will form the will form the face that comes on the back side of the cube so it will be the sixth face. You could see that which square paper which square net will take what place in the cube. Now this is just one type of face you can also have a net diagram which looks like this and it will also form a cube. So if you have it like this then this net diagram can also assemble and give you a cube. For this you have to take this one as your base. So this will be your phase 2, phase 3. So it will just wrap over and this right will take the side one. So this square will become the side face. This square will become the opposite side face. So it will be 1, uh, 2 will, come the, will become the front face, 3 will become the side face, 4 will become the other side face. Then once this 4 is over, is coming over, then you can just fold over and this one will become the back face and this right here will become the top face. So upon folding, if you are getting a perfect cube, then you can consider that that particular net diagram is a net diagram of cube, otherwise it is not. So basically this is more or less the concept of net diagram. Now what we will do, we will see some more shapes and we will see their net diagram. Let us start with the net of a cuboid. Now for the net of a cuboid, we will first have to draw a cuboid. So let's say this is our cuboid. Now let's deconstruct it. So if you will deconstruct this cuboid, you will see that you will have the bottom face as your rectangle. Then again, to this bottom face, you will have this face and then to that particular face, you will see that the well, consecutive, the congruent part of this particular bottom face will be visible. So what you can do, you can make this one as a bigger one to show that this particular one is not the one which is congruent to that and then you can make this as the congruent person. So what we'll do, uh, we'll make mark it both as one. So this one suggests that they both are the two 
opposite faces now just to it you will see that there is a small rectangle over here as well so this will again be that and this again will be that so you can make mark them as 2 and 2 and then again you can keep a bigger rectangle over here and this bigger rectangle will be 3 and 3 so this here this right here is the net of a cuboid which will obtain after you deconstruct this cuboid now let's talk about the square prism we already know what does a square prism look like this right here is a square prism and well you have all sorts of triangles which are formed over here on this particular value in this top so right here you can see that this is your square prism these four faces are triangular faces and the bottom one is a square so if you'll open it if you'll deconstruct it you'll see that you have a square over here and to this square you have four triangles these four triangles are of course congruent to each other so this is how you can deconstruct and form the net of a square prism Next is a cylinder. Now you will see that once you for the for, to draw a cylinder, you'll first have to draw two circles. So the top and bottom will of course be a circle. And in between this circle, you have this curved surface. And we know that if we cut this curved surface, then it will be unfolded in a sheet of paper. And since it will be unfolded in a sheet of paper, I can say that this is more like a rectangle. This rectangle shows that this particular one, this particular part right here forms the curved surface of the figure and the two top and bottom circles, well, they, they denote the top and bottom of the cylinder. Now, since we have seen all these three, let us do a question and in this question, we are going to determine that what shape will be obtained. So, let us do the question. The question is, what shape will be obtained? from the following net. So you can see that the given net is a triangle and in this triangle you have a triangle like this. In fact, let us keep it more simple. You have a triangle like this, then again you have a triangle like this and a triangle like this. So now you can see that you have four triangular faces and using these four triangular faces you have to draw a 3D shape. So what shape comes to your mind when you think about four triangular faces? Well, it is pretty obvious that this right here, it will be the bottom. So let us draw this triangle. And now to these three, to these three vertices you can see that there is a triangle right over here. So this will be your first one. Well, let's form it in a much easy manner. So this is the first triangle. Then again, if you take this also up, you'll see that this one is your second triangle and this right here has formed your third triangle. So if we construct this net, then we get a tetrahedron. And thus using these nets, we can identify that what sort of 3D figure has to be obtained from these shapes. So with this we have come to the end of this particular lecture in, we have, in which we have discussed the nets. We will see each other in our next class and we will discuss something new. But until then keep practicing and have fun. Goodbye guys.